the Papists, that is, at the time, were uh, pushing Philip Melanchthon and the Lutherans who had just confessed their faith at Augsburg, pushing them to number the sacraments as seven. Melanchthon considers, well, what if we define the sacrament as broadly as we could, that it is a rite that has the command of God and that promises grace? Well, even by that definition, the, the last rites and the confirmation, these two would not, be, would not fit the bill because they don't have the command of God uh, or promised salvation if, if they were so done. And then marriage, marriage, yes, marriage is a, is a command of God and does have promises attached, but these promises are not related to the grace of Christ because marriage has been around since the beginning. Marriage is an ordinance of the creation. If you called marriage a sacrament, you would still have to distinguish between it and the ones that actually give you the grace of Christ, that Christ won on the cross, the ones that apply the work of Christ to you and forgive sins, because surely those are the most important ones. So which ones do that? The Lord's Supper, baptism, and absolution. What is absolution? This is the short name of confession and absolution. That is when someone confesses their sins to the pastor and the pastor responds by forgiving their sins in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So the three which are a visible gospel, that is the three where a Christian believer comes to the church and he receives not just a verbal proclamation of the word, but a ritual of some kind, a Christian rite, uh, something instituted by Christ that goes beyond a simple speech that gives him the gospel. Absolution doesn't have a particular material substance connected to it, like water or like bread and wine, but it does have a ritual associated with it. That is, the people or the individual confessor confesses sin and then the pastor forgives the sin in the name of God and in the place, in the stead and by the command of Christ. So there's a ritual involved. And in the defense of the Augsburg Confession, it's defined as broadly as possible a ritual that has the command of God and the promises of grace. And so absolution by that definition is. So it ends up being a technical difference. I usually say that the Lutheran Church has two and a half sacraments because sometimes we count them as two and sometimes we count them as three. And what is really important is to understand what any sacrament is and how it works. That is, the sacrament is the Word of God. And so with the Word of God there, it's not just physical elements and it's not just the human ritual. It is a sacrament. It is something that God has instituted and promised to work through to forgive sins.